Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the one and only World Improv Network Comedy Show on Mile High Sports Radio. Take part in the show by giving your suggestions or questions to the cast for each show segment throughout the week or live during the show by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, on Twitter at World Improv Net, or by calling in to Mile High Sports Radio Studio Line. Now, enjoy the show. <laughs> It's local. It's global. You're listening to Win World Local News. Win World Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smith. Breaking news into the Win World Local News sports desk from Win Sports reporter Devonier Dave, who's live in Boston, Massachusetts, spying in the backyard of NFL star quarterback Tom Brady's house while disguised in a turkey suit. What's the suit all about, Dave, and what are you spying on? Well, I, I thought this would be the most inconspicuous way that I could sneak into Tom Brady's backyard. But the big game coming up on Sunday here. Make sure that he doesn't have any equipment problems going on. Things to find. Maybe time's going to I, I think I've been spotted. Nope. No, hey. That's his wife coming around with a coming around with more turkey for the family. Oh, isn't that cute? Hey, who's in the bushes? Hey, who are you? I think I've been spotted. I think I've been spotted, but... Yeah, you've been spotted. Hey! Hey! Caw! Caw! Hey, Caw! I, kn I know... <laughs> no, we've already got a bird. Hey, what are you doing? Caw! Caw! I think I've blown my cover. Don't worry, everybody. It's just some guy pretending to be a bird. He's got a microphone or something. I don't know. All right. Well, that was a great story there. I mean, that's a heck of a spy job, too. The whole time being apprehensive on what's really going on out there. Well, okay, well, let's move on to our next story. And it's brought to us by wind contributor Roland of Paris, France. The biggest question of world leaders' minds ahead of the United Nations Summit, beginning tomorrow in Paris, is what is snow global warming and can it be stopped? Well, to cut through the glitter of the matter like a French butter knife and get the definitive inside of this bubbly question like a fine champagne, let's check in with Wynn Senior Climatologist, Mother Earth, who's there with all the answers. Mother Earth? Yes, I am here, I am centered, and I am spinning in orbit, and I am here to report on yes. A new dilemma for all the Earthlings, not just humanity, but I'm speaking of the squirrels, the whales, even, did I say snails? Because the, the snails will be most affected by this new snow, it's called snow global warming. And it's, and it's, and it's where the climate change radically shifts from being so hot, it just goes like right on the other side of the spectrum. You know, like if you... If you just went all the way, you know, it's like counting from 1 to 10, and then after 10, you just start right back at 1. So, the temperature for everybody. Did I mention the snails? The, please, we need to save the snail. Oh, I'm actually here with one of my favorite snail buddies. Steve. Steve the snail. What? What's up, world? Please, make your case. Plead with the humans for them to... For them to curb their habits so that snow global warming, or even just regular global warming, doesn't occur. How can we help you and your brethren and sisters, Steve the Snail? The extra three feet of snow every year makes it almost impossible to travel home to the homeland. Oh, where is your home, Steve? Let them know where your home is. Detroit, Michigan. Whoa, I didn't know that. Uh, yes, that's right. How, where, where, where I reside, of course. How, how long have you been in Detroit? I never. This, I feel like this would have come up. Oh, well, I've been there probably uh, almost five, six years now since I finished up school and got my degree in mathematics. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. So, world, if you want more snails to get economics degree, please stop this madness. Back to you, Potter. Well, thank you, Mother Earth. That is a great little piece of advice and something we should definitely consider moving forward. All right, well, our next story is brought to us by wind contributor Linda of Hollywood, California. 
The Thanksgiving weekend box office hit Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 2, has many asking, why would so many people want to go hungry while playing games? Well, to get to the skinny on this hippo-sized story, let's go live to win psychologist Dr. B.F. Scrawny, who's in an orphanage in Bucharest, Romania. And Dr. Scrawny? Oh, the despair out here. Oh, the hunger. The hunger. Everybody goes starving for days, but yet the world never recognize our, recognizes our plight. These games are our only hope. Our only hope to regain our, our foot. Our foot on our own humanity and, and well to escape our poverty and hungers. <laughs> oh my god there goes a poor soul now these games rest rest upon our rest upon our skills these poor souls may they be trapped in poverty forever or will we ever break free from this circumstance of hell <laughs> Oh my god, I can't bear to stand to see, see all the despair anymore. In fact, in fact, it, everything is riding on these games so much that, that if we don't win, I, I'm afraid humanity in general just will not survive and not, not evolve to the next stage in evolution. There's more at stake than, than just the impoverished in here in Bucharest. Of course, if the United States was kind enough they could drop a couple, uh, Sandwiches and maybe a salad or, or a couple of TV dinners, you know, from the, from the sky. God bless. Oh my God! There's, there's Rose. Uh, Rose, do you have sandwiches? No, no, Rose. I'm sorry. We do not have food to feed you again this evening. You're gonna have to starve to death again. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't die another time. I couldn't take it. Uh, Rose, you've gotten this far. There's no, another day. Starving to death is. It's just another day, another night. <laughs> you'll, live to see, you'll live to see another week. Uh, I wish, I wish. I'm going to go starve. Wow, that's sad. BF Scrawny, that's great work you've done there, though. All right, we'll move it on to another story. It's provided to us by wind contributor Bob of Prescott, Arizona. An elusive American Black Panther, Kunta Kite, has broken free from the shackles of the Phoenix Zoo and has been hiding until now in an undisclosed location. To find out where this rebellious cat has been laying low and what he intends to do next, let's go live to win zoologist Jack Hannibal, who's inside the secret panther's hideout with the story. Jack? Yeah, I'm sitting here with the cat, actually, and, uh... I've been talking with the cat, and, uh, your name, uh, is Kunta Kite, and you've escaped. Right, now, what's your next step? You've, you've fleed your captivity, but what are you gonna do with this freedom? Oh, with this freedom that I've really never experienced in all the abuse here at the strange zoo that you've kept me in for so long. I know. I plan to, plan to migrate to Canada. I know it's going to be safe. The Canadians, well, they, they just would never harm a soul. I'm pretty sure of that. Is this some kind of political statement? Are you saying, to, is is this contingent on the election? Oh, well, I'm not much one for politics, but I can say that perhaps if a certain someone does get elected into office, that, uh, well, Canada may rule the world, yes. Oh. Uh, Kunta Kite, do you have some kind of prognostication abilities. Can you see the future? Yeah. What do you see? I wouldn't say I have a crystal ball, but I do see, well, an, an end of poverty and maybe a... Oh, well, all right. Kunta Kite is skidded off. I guess he's on his way to Canada. Back to you, Porter. Well, thank you, Jack, and thank you for that information, and thank you all for tuning in to Wind World Local News on My Life Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smits, and stay tuned for Community Court, next on the World Improv Network. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or by calling into the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break for a case that needs to be tackled during Community Court, next on Mile High Sports Radio.